<laughs> it's getting old and together. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Felipe. I'm Lillian. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK reacting to Great Britain. We make five new videos a week in which we watch your comedies and try to teach you about what they are about. Today we're going to react to Morecambe and Wise. This is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Your favorite novel. Okay, Morgan and Wise not just doing stand-up comedy, but actually doing another sort of sketch. So it's, you've been, oh, uh, did you finish your me. Sherlock Sorry. Holmes uh, audiobook? So I got the complete, unabridged, all, mm -hmm. the, all the stories. Yeah, and did you finish listening finished to them? Finished them all. Wow. So it's you should really be able, good. if this is a story. I should be able to identify it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're not going to take it from a specific story. I think they're going to be more like... Um, generalized. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. That's, that's true. <laughs> yes? Dr. Watson. No, I'm Bertha the maid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Dr. Watson. Your telephone call to my lodgings in Baker Street had a ring of urgency about it. Over there. Oh, what a perfectly splendid settee. Splendid <laughs> settee. Hello, old chap. Tired? <laughs> He's dead. Murdered. So what's this gorilla doing here? <laughs> It's an ancient uh, relative. How are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see you've got short and hairy arms as well. I'm sorry I'm late. Only I've just had a chip off, and at my age, that's painful. <laughs> there you are, Watson. <laughs> Why? What have you been doing? <laughs> oh, there's the deceased. Yes. Is he dead? <laughs> we'll have to wait the result of the inquest. I see. Holmes. Yes. May I introduce you to Bertha the maid? Good Lord. Yes, of course. That's really wonderful. Have you touched anything, Bertha? No, I was waiting for you. Clever, intelligent woman. <laughs> what? Holmes. <laughs> well, Holmes. Oh yes, thank you. And you? Anyone else in the house? Fetch him immediately. Yes, Mr. Holmes, sir. You can call back for the trousers. <laughs> I don't like it, Holmes. You don't often get it, Watson. <laughs> Down to business. Yes. How do you see it, Holmes? About once every three weeks, if I'm lucky. <laughs> ah, what is it, Holmes? That's the biggest tin of salmon I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> The biggest what? Tail of salmon? I don't know. Follow me. Right. Sorry. Shh. Not the cupboard, you know. That's my arm. Listen. Rheumatism. <laughs> 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 Ridiculous. Look out, somebody's coming. I can hear footsteps. By the sound of the tread, those footsteps belong to an old lady of about 70 years of age who walks with a stick. Due to a riding accident some 15, nay, <laughs> 20 years ago. A brilliant deduction, Holmes. Elementary, my dear Watson. You're the double of your mother, do you know that? <laughs> I'm about it, oh, it's the guy from Yes Man yeah. Yeah. Bring you gentlemen some brandy. A capital idea. Don't touch I didn't that realize he was so tall. I, <laughs> I thought he was short. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. He's taller than both. Mm. Okay. Certainly, sir. I observe that there isn't a hair on the lapel of your jacket. Certainly not, sir. Are you with the habit of going out with bald headed women? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I think you're on something <laughs> here, Holmes. 
Have we ever met before? Never. And when was that? About two years ago. <laughs> well, it was a skip to page. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, I should do everything in my power to help solve this appalling crime. Is it true that 12 months ago you were arrested and convicted of being the Bermondsey Flasher? <laughs> How dare you, Mr. Holmes? That accusation is totally untrue and a dreadful indictment as to my integrity. <laughs> Holmes, what does a flasher get when he's caught? I would say in your case, what's in a fine under the trade description act? <laughs> Mr. Holmes. Yes. Yes, Mr. I fail. I fail to see what all this has to do with discovering who murdered my master. <laughs> Mr. Holmes. Are you really the same man who solved the mystery of the Hound of the Baskervilles? Yes. It was Barbara Woodhouse in a skin. <laughs> Why don't you let Hawthorne tell you his side of the story? What a good idea. Mm. Sit down, Hawthorne. Sit please. down, Hawthorne. Thank you, gentlemen. Mm. Now, tell me exactly. Yes? And in your own words. Yes? Exactly what happened this morning. <laughs> well, I brought my master in his breakfast at eight o'clock. <laughs> or was it nine? No, it was eight. Well, it might have been, um, um, <laughs> um. <laughs> no, it was nine. <laughs> At what time exactly did your master die? Well, I think he died at 10 o'clock. No, it was ten. Yes, gentlemen, I think that's it. Why? Mess it up. Stairs immediately and question him. All oh, right, come on. Ah. Why are you wrong? <laughs> I will ring for Bertha, the maid. <laughs> was that you? No, it wasn't. <laughs> come in. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bertha, what were you doing at two thirty this afternoon? Polishing the master's cruet. No wonder he died with a smile on his face. What? Would you sit down, please, just for a second? There's one or two questions I'd like to ask you. Polishing Sorry. the master's. Don't worry about it. Tell me, what happened to the master's 1,000 gold sovereigns? <laughs> and there's a band outside. <laughs> <laughs> Because I am Herlock Sholmes. Herlock <laughs> <laughs> everything and you are under suspicion. And you play your cards right, you could be under the settee with me. How can you suspect me? I'm just a simple country girl. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you, Mr. Has the Queen Mother come in? Is it the Queen Mother? <laughs> Do you want me to make a statement? Yes, please. Right then. Here it is. Mm. I fancy you. Ah. I fierce. Yes. Oh, you. Have you never loved a woman with a raging passion? Only once. What happened? The wife found out. You have all the things that I have ever looked for in a man. Well, would you mind showing me where they are? I've looked everywhere. <laughs> you have that hungry look about you. It's a month since I had a bone here. I'll give you all the nourishment you need. When I'm next to you, I feel a fiery glow. Oh, yes, you sat on my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you Holmes? I haven't done you much good, I promise you that. <laughs> you disappoint me, Mr. Holmes. I get the impression you don't know what you're doing. How was the master murdered? Exactly. Answer that, if you can, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you mean you actually know how he was murdered? Hawthorne, oh. sir, open that cabinet there. Do I have to open? Right away and immediately. Very well, 
Jones, huh? He's guilty. <laughs> Nobody got? Now, sir, yes. <laughs> you see, your master was killed by a severe blow to the head. My hat! And you knew that blow was coming. And you avoided that blow. Professor Moriarty. <laughs> <laughs> Bond still out there. <laughs> 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 you hoes! <laughs> <laughs> meet again, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Were well, you being deucedly clever, but not clever enough? You will never hold <laughs> it together. <laughs> you will never discover me alive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her get away. <laughs> the gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> was that an actual story? No. Do you remember it at all? No. There wasn't a master killed and an investigation as to who killed the master. There were between masters the butler killed and, the... and stuff, but no, not not between and a butler. And 50 gold And then suddenly Moriarty is there. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> what did you think? It's so not. I think the the comedy in it so is unserious. that it's so not Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Like so he was Sherlock never, Holmes. He was never interested in the women. Sherlock Holmes was because he was gay, right? No. <laughs> he just he just wasn't he was interested. Homo. He was just way more interested in his work than women. Because um, he was a homo. But he no no he would often <laughs> remark how stunning or how beautiful. Watson would always remark every every female character Watson. seemed to be. Very beautiful to Watson. But, he would remark, but not to Holmes, because he was say, a homo. Home, Holmes would say that. <laughs> yeah, he would say that too. Uh huh. He was even um, married or in love. Remember? I mean, in the um, he was in love, and then she in the BBC modern version. Wasn't there uh, impl implicit allusions to, to gayness? Yeah, yeah. That's between the him one. and and. Uh, and Watson. No. Yes. That was always one of Homo. those. Well, Watson was married, so. Hmm. No. <laughs> um, so have you become a, a a resident connoisseur of Sherlock Holmes now that you've listened to the? I home? feel like I I feel like I know um, <clears throat> the personality a lot better than I did mm. before. But what was so, something that he would often do in his mm -hmm. in the writing that um, Conan. Conan O'Brien would do. That. <laughs> um, I know about Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> was that it, it, he would hide um, clues? The way he would hide the how he came to his conclusion. He would never reveal mm. it until the very, very end, where he catches uh -huh. and then he, then he lays it all out. And the other funny thing about all the stories is the culprit, the one mm. who they catch. Who confess? They always confess, mm. and then they always give a like a long reason why. Mm. It's like a monologue, it. or something. yeah. They tell the story about mm. why they did the thing, oh, and see. then sometimes they were kind of justified in what they did. It, maybe mm. it wasn't murder or something. Maybe it was mm. something else that they did. They they confessed theft or something, and then Sherlock would just let him go. He would just mm. be like judge, jury, he and judged, execution. He kind of he knew sometimes when it was mm. appropriate to let it go right um and then other times where you know he would hand them over because he was a private investigator yeah right? he wasn't obligated to yeah to yeah. enforce any exactly. law yeah mm. well what's interesting is near the end he he's so famous that we're talking about the skit knows. now or no sherlock's character uh, all right <laughs> in the way because it chronicles mm. all the way his entire career mm. like, and he in it, he never dies in the you know, Conan, he's eternal. He's eternal. Yeah. <laughs> Is he really? He, he he doesn't die. So he doesn't age or die. He does age. Obviously, he's an alien. It's just I'm that, not saying it's an alien, but it's an alien. It's just that the author didn't write his death. Okay. He oh, just I see. Left it, and then yeah. 
So people. So today, so million the million pound question is. Robert Downey Jr. or Benjamin Cumberbatch? Benedict. Ben- <laughs> Benedict Cumber- Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch is better in playing mm. the role of Sherlock Holmes. Because the of what you've heard thing, in the book. Yes, according to the book. Mm. The only thing that I feel like he's missing is the one thing that um, Robert Downey Jr. has, mm. which is... Physical. So he did in the character. He did mm. fight. He boxed. Mm. He was very well trained, and he's very mm. masculine. Whereas so Benedict play. Cumberbatch, he has a bit more of a slender. He's a bit homo. <laughs> <laughs> he's not really in real life. Is he? No, <laughs> he's just posh. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do all the time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you um oh no maybe it's this. i like that uh brexit song and what they called him in that brexit song Be- benedict cumber bleep really? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah so i actually have grown an appreciation of benedict, benedict Cumberbatch. cumberbatch's um, acting skills a, um, portrayal of mm. Sherlock Holmes he did a really good job with mm. there's just the social awkwardness but then mm. also the the um, arrogance mm. and then as well as the fondness of like the the close loyalty that he, mm. he and Watson had mm. that close bond of friendship mm. that he often suppressed or you didn't see but then like you had moments where you were like Mm. He, that was like his only friend. Watson was like his only friend. Mm. I liked Benedict Cumberbatch as Khan in Star Trek, the movie. Yeah, he was good in that. He's yeah. good, man. He's what about good. in the um, Imitation Game? What What did he do in that? He was like a decoder or something for the war during the war. Imitation Game. Oh, was he the scientist that? I think so. Who was? You don't even remember that one. Do you? I do. He, he was. Um, he was gay. He was gay. He was gay, yeah. Oh. Um, and then he was convicted of that. The real life character mm. of uh, of a crime, mm. and then pardoned like fifty, sixty years later. Mm. Wow. Um, what was his name? Man, it's gonna it's gonna trouble me that I don't remember his name. Hmm. Um. Anyway, yeah. Fa- he decoded the enigma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Right? Oh, I forgot his name. <clears throat> anyway, back to this. But yeah, so this is just totally not Sherlock to me. So and was he a la- he wasn't a ladies man like he that. he wasn't a ladies man. He yeah. wasn't interested in that. Yeah, women never really threw themselves on Pond Sherlock. Him. Never. Mm. Um, the Watson sometimes I think they in the in the books because yeah. I've not heard or read the books. Um, was Watson like a bumbling? No, mm. he was in fact. Sherlock regarded him very highly, which is why mm. he always had him invited him on his mm. missions or whatever mm. investigations. Um, so I think, I think what's his name? Martin uh, Freeman plays yeah Watson in the BBC in the BBC version. Yeah. And he does a good job, a fair job. I prefer the movie Watson, which is played Jude by Law. Jude Law. Yeah. yeah, much better. He's very competent. Very, very. Yeah. Oh, too, not very much like Watson, once again. In the book. In the book, Watson's more like Martin Freeman. Oh, right? is that right? Yeah. Mm. He's um very cheery, very positive, mm. <laughs> always wanting to um, be helpful and mm. not very... He's not super assertive or anything. He's very mm. like, I'll do mm. whatever you ask, you know, mm. I'm there. Yeah. And, um, and, and he also says things like, for example, sometimes Sherlock would test him just to see how mm. how he would react, how brilliant Keep his skills. Sherlock is compared mm. to the common man. Mm. And then so he would say something like, "Oh, Watson, uh, are you, so are you going to buy that house?" You know, mm. like something that, mm. and because he, he's just sitting there for twenty minutes, silent, mm. just thinking. Mm. And then always Watson's just like, "How did you know that?" So mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave your more and Wise recommendations in the comments. Thanks. Bye.